What's going on guys, Kid from Sunset Park, and I'm finally doing this commentary after it took an hour and a half for Windows 8.1 to download, and I was just sitting and waiting for it to finish, and it took way longer than I expected, but I'm here playing a little search and rescue, using the MTAR with Suppressor and Red Dot, really great class setup, Marathon Sleight of Hand, uh, really good for rushing around in search and rescue, and getting to the players before they get to you. And uh, speaking of search and rescue and search and destroy, for all of you avid search and destroy fans out there, search and destroy will be coming back to COD Ghost on November 15th, and it's going to be an update, and you will be able to play search and destroy, traditional old Call of Duty search and destroy, like you remember it, two bombs, um, a, you know, a bomb, you go plant it, and that's it, no more getting these tags, and, um... You know, for all of the people that really wanted to play this, it's coming back. But uh, they still will have Search and Rescue, which is I st still feel is a great game type. Uh, it's really, really interesting, really fun to play. I like the idea of it. But a lot of people were actually saying that they would love to have Search back. And, um, you know, the developers over at Infinity Ward on Twitter, uh, they replied almost, you know instantly especially for their work schedule now that the game has just come out uh they have a lot of work on their plate that they're going to need to you know do find out things that need to be balanced and just that whole uh bunch of stuff you know get the game ready for the next gen 2 for that release so they have a huge workload but they were able to address the no search and destroy issue and actually uh, get a resolution done, which I'm very surprised with. Uh, if you guys have been playing Call of Duty for a while, uh, like I have, you know from experience that a lot of developers take, uh, take their time with getting back to uh, addressing issues in the game unless it's a game-breaking issue like if there's a you know a 15th glitch out or a 10th glitch in this case uh, where you can get to the full prestige extremely fast basically overnight they'll address that almost immediately but something as in just putting a game type back into the game it's crazy that they addressed this this fast now uh, who's to say that Search and Rescue will, you know, lose popularity or Search and Destroy will actually not be popular at all because so many people like Search and Rescue? Uh, it, it's it's going to all depend on what happens when it comes out. I feel like a lot of people are going to go back to Search and Destroy. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to love playing it, who hate playing Search and Rescue, hate the concept of uh, being able to spawn back in around uh, just by getting the tags. But players like me who enjoy the complexity of search and rescue, the strategic kind of way you have to play. Because if you die, you're not necessarily out. You could be revived and continue your push to try to win the round. That's why search and rescue interests me. That's why I'm really, really uh, an avid supporter of search and rescue. That's why I love uh, playing. That's why I love uh, spectating people play like I did here. I'm not going to cut this part out because this video would be extremely short without it. But... Uh, it's just really interesting. It's real fun to play, and uh, it gives you pretty... I think the XP is going to be the same uh, as Search and Rescue and Search and Destroy. I think they're going to go along the same basis, uh, but Search and Destroy is going to bring that traditional Call of Duty uh, Search and Destroy feel back to the game. And, uh, you know, a lot of people like Search and Destroy also for game battles. They like uh, playing Search for game battles, and Search and Rescue really wouldn't work out for game battles because they wouldn't want to have people continuously spawning in game battles are you know high high paced high velocity action all the time type gameplay and uh a lot of people are dedicated i mean i played game battles in modern warfare 3 and of course you run into people that are avid avid game battle competitors they love um the idea behind competitive sports now me i'm a pretty casual player I will, i'll get serious if we need to be serious if i'm going on win streaks if i'm you know playing with friends and we making a push to win say 20 goal 20 games in a row that's our goal for the night and then we'll make that push we'll make it happen uh the most games i've won in a row were 160 something on mw3 now that's being a casual player uh, search and destroy, like I said, might cater in this game to a lot of the hardcore uh, game battle esque people, uh, which is going to be kind of interesting. It's going to see you're going to definitely see an interesting mix of uh, people in search and rescue, the more casual players like me, and then the people in search and destroy, where I will occasionally play, but it's going to be a lot of hardcore 
uh, game battle oriented people who are going to try to get the feel for the maps in regular search and destroy and then bring that over to game battles and start playing there so it's going to be interesting uh, let's see how it plays out hopefully they bring back game types that we want or implement new ones that'd be really awesome but hopefully you enjoyed the video guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and kid from sunset park i'll see you in the next video i'm out peace